why Peter Obi's 2027 ambition, okay, or political ambition, scares Shoyenka? Well, one thing is that uh, in his widely publicized recent interview, Nobel laureate Professor Wally Shoyenka stated that the federal government made a mistake keeping Namde Kano in detention since 2021. Okay, I have previously discussed why obese 2027 political ambition scares Shuyenka. I have also explained how the anticipated political collaboration between Atiku and obese political camp camps with respect to the 2027 presidential election has thrown the ruling APC and presidency into a state of panic and confusion. We are still looking at APC's responses to the expected political alignment. Shoyinka made things as the arrow head of the APC propaganda machinery. Wow! Going by the opening paragraph of this piece seems to have given us a hint of what the APC and presidency may likely to do to reverse their ugly political predicaments ahead of the 2027 presidential polls. In other ways, the release of Nambekano may rank high in their plans. What Professor Professor has done to every discerning political de observer was to put the issue of Kano's release on the front burner of national discourse as a way of justifying a presidential pardon or court acquittal of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB leader. There is a precedence to this political course of action. Going down memory lane, we remember that in a build up to the 1983 general elections, the ruling National Party of Nigeria, MPN, was desperate to show up its sagging popularity among the voter population. Like the pres present APC government, its unpopular policies and high level of corruption in the system had alienated it from the populace. Political war horses like Shifoba Femi Awulowo and the Owili of Onicha. Right Honorable Namdi Azikiwe strongly had sway in the southwest and southeast, respectively. But MPN was so anxious to take the southeast, Imo or Anambra State, particularly Anambra State, they arched a plot on how to take Anambra State, Zeke's home seat. They got Professor Chuba Kadibu and others to make contact with the exile. Biafra leader Chukwe Meka Odumegu Ojuku in Gabon, West Africa. They negotiated with Ojuku Abed secretly. Later, President Shehu Shagari announced an unconditional presidential pardon for the Biafran warlord. The Igbo nation was agog with celebration the day Ojuku returned to Nigeria and Igbo land from exile. It was the kind of celebration that has never been seen again in Igbo and see today. For the Igbo, it was on that day that the Nigeria Civil War, the Nigeria Biafra War officially ended. However, Ojuku, against all advice, joined the NPN. People described his decision as part of the agreement for the presidential pardon. The NPN used the influence and popularity of Ikemba Newi to neutralize Zeke's influence and rigged the election massively in Igbo land in both the presidential and governorship elections. Why they took Anambra surprisingly? Ojuku the Ikemba Newi, on whose back they rode to victory, lost his senatorial bid, yes, keeping a word of promise to his ear and breaking it to his hope. Shakespeare Macbeth. Neither did they remember him in their appointments, MPN and Shagari used and dumped Ikemba. Countrymen here, we are again. The cloud is once more gathering. What are the APC and Tinubu, Senator Ifayin Uba and others up to? APC like a NPN desperately wants to win in a state in the southeast, Ubi's strong O. They may decide to use Namdekano to achieve this just as the and NPN used Ikemba Newi to accomplish their objective. Bokano is very much alive with history and cannot be easily hoodwinked by their 
antics. Yes, this could be a major APC Trump card for winning the 2027 presidential election. They may want to create a bandwagon effect even as we ask where we their votes come from. Moreover, APC as in 2023 may still use the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC to accomplish its objectives. Contrary to expectations, INEC would result to inflating electoral figures like total voter registration during the voter registration and review of voter registra, register exercise. Normally, going by facts on ground, total number of registered voters for the 2027 polls ought to be less than the 2023 figures for obvious reasons. Voter apathy due to misgovernance and fallouts of the 2023 polls. But trust INEC, the 2027 total number of registered voters will likely surpass that of 2023. The hike in total number of registered voters in what eight electoral vote allocation to favored candidates. So how do citizens counter INEX SSCs as its official constitutes a law unto themselves? Expectedly, power of incumbency surely has its limits. For APC 2027 is the limit for the for its power of incumbency and impunity. Now, should the APC drop the Unamericano Plus among others, what other option is available to it? Well, as desperate as many of them are to remain in power, it might be out of place for them to collude with their surrogates in the military to stage a coup d'etat in which they will play a part directly or indirectly in the ensuing government as and the fear is that that may hasten the long-awaited revolution in the polity or plunge the nation into another civil war let us keep our finger crossed and shine our eyes as we watch unfolding events professor shekham will speak more on this in the weeks ahead the 27 27 posts are fast approaching but Nigerians need to be reminded of the word of Dr. M. I. Okwara, former premier of Eastern Nigeria during the 1983 political campaigns. First, fool, no be fool. Second, fool, no proper foolish. In other words, come 2027, Nigerians must resolve to defend their votes and democracy in their fatherland. This is the pathway to a glorious dawn for Nigeria, a new Nigeria the nation of our dreams. <laughs> Shoyinka once said that Etinubu and his wife supported him financially and materially. Maybe he was just trying to reciprocate without reminding the suffering of millions of people. Of course, yes. Fu continue to suffer in the hands of, in the hands and leadership of our uh, Oragunta brother Tifnubu. Obi has zero chance in Nigeria policies, really. Mm. And he got six point something million. <laughs> it must be a joke. Sir, with all due respect, what has Mr. Obi done to you that you hate him this much? Okay, this electoral system of Nigeria is corrupt. Peter Obi should step aside for deadly and corrupt politicians. Nigeria youth are not ready for a change. What is the relationship between the noble icon and the political jobber like Peter Obi? Hey, you don't know. Listen to yourself, APC man. Well done. <laughs> okay so guys uh, let's know what you think about uh, what is being said do you agree or not